overflows. Krishna Murti and enlightenment. Krishna Murti continues in his biographical sketch. Krishna Murti, the aids of awakening by Mary Lutens. I went on like this for some time till eventually I wandered out on the veranda and sat a few moments exhausted and slightly calmer. I began to come to myself and finally Mr. Warrington asked me to go under the pepper tree which is near the house. There I sat cross-legged, there I sat cross-legged in the meditation posture. When I had sat thus for some time, I felt myself going out of my body. I saw myself sitting down with the delicate tender leaves of tree over me. I was facing the east. In front of me was my body and over my head I saw the stars bright and clear. Then I could feel the vibrations of Lord Buddha. I beheld Lord Matri and Master Kutumi. I was so happy, calm and peace at peace. I could still see my body and I was ho hovering near it. There was such profound calmness both in the air and within myself, the calmness of the bottom of a deep unfathomable lake. Like the lake, I felt my physical body with its mind and emotions could be ruffled on the surface, but nothing Nay, nothing could disturb the calmness of the soul. Such is the description of the process of enlightenment. The in words to some extent, although the experience is so vast that it cannot be put into the words, it is like you have tasted a beautiful dish and thereafter you are asked to write what you tasted all about it. So you are trying to make an effort, but it gives a deeper insight to a large extent about what had happened to an enlightened one during the process when enlightenment is happening. The presence of the mighty beings was with me for some time and then they were gone. I was supremely happy for I had seen nothing could ever be the same. I have drunk, I have drunk at the clear and pure waters of the source of the fountain of life and my thirst was appeased. Never more could I be thirsty, never more could I be in utter darkness. I have seen the light. I have touched compassion which heals all sorrows and sufferings. It is not for myself but for the world. I have stood on the mountain top and gazed at the mighty beings. Never can I be in such darkness. I have seen the glorious and healing light, the fountain of truth has been revealed to me with, and the darkness has been dispersed. Love in all its glory was intoxicated my heart. My heart can never be closed. I have drunk at the fountain of joy and eternal beauty. I am God intoxicated. After such a profound experience, which is more like a realized vision, life never remains the same. Thus, enlighten, enlightenment happened to Jiddu Krishnamurti in a unique way. Life underwent change, but something is missing in his enlightenment. It is like when you arrive after a long journey at an airport, you realize that you have arrived, but then suddenly you find that your luggage has, is missing. With Jiddu, it is the other way around. 
something more serious has happened the luggage has arrived but he is missing this needs to understand let me explain enlightenment in simple way a seed is sown in the fertilized soil as the process begins for seed germinates in the darkness of the womb thereafter the tender stem comes on the surface under the sun and the process of growth continues in a different way roots grow within the womb supporting and holding the plant through the, its roots the plant remains grounded providing the nourishment the stems and leaves absorb the nourishment from the sun in its own way both the nourishment from the earth through the roots and the nourishment through its leaves work in harmony with one another in the same way a seeker has to remain grounded to its roots and absorb nourishment this is not only with a seeker but more so for an enlightened one this is what is meant the the luggage has arrived but he is missing the connection between the two is severed the seeker in the initial stage and throughout continues this harmony such is life of bliss in post enlightenment era the one who is enlightened he does not vanish and evaporate and disappear into the vast existence instead he tastes that vastness of the existence and he remains grounded another example enlightenment happens to you because the existence has chosen you to be an instrument in the process of transformation of human consciousness you have different levels of growth through different bodies the gross and the subtle suppose you are making a cup of tea you need a pot to boil the water pot is the gross you need the heat to allow the temperature of the water to reach the level when it can absorb the flavor color and texture of the tea leaves you allow the water to reach the boiling point before tea leaves can be added if you allow the water to reach the boiling point and at this point the form of the water changes from fluid to vapors what will happen if all the water is allowed to become vapors and disappear through its disappears through its subtle form in that case you cannot make tea it is the pot too will get damaged but the water that has evaporated cannot become rain cloud certainly because it is within the environment in the kitchen so to enlightenment happens to you for a purpose first your individual consciousness becomes cosmic you have attained freedom from the narrowness of the body mind and its thought process you learn the way to come out of the narrow limited boundaries in the open space and return back you have a resting place the body is the resting place but your consciousness has the freedom to go wherever it wants to go not the thought process consciousness moves out and it has the connection with the existential or cosmic consciousness if you decide to remain outside consciousness will not return at dusk to its resting place for nourishment this is what had happened to krishna murti there happened a discontinuity between gross and subtle at this stage one gets tempted not to return to body consciousness because the experience is so vast after this there is no purpose to live whatever the flower has blossomed 
what else is needed so it continues to spread its beauty and fragrance as long as it is alive then it must return to the seed form when you return to the body consciousness you will perform all that is necessary but the quality and the result will be different earlier for instance you was living to eat now after this the other stage comes you are eating to live this is a qualitative change that happens to every single individual who attains to enlightenment i find it is complex and strange yet not unusual it has happened many times before but for different reasons the reason with krishna murti is certainly novel but the situation is not this is strange and unacceptable to me to me it is unbelievable once you are enlightened you are finished with all the conditionings of the mind you are all your religious conditionings belief systems and religions the so called organized religions are finished enlightenment is dissolution in the existence then how can your finiteness of the body and the mind remain enlightenment is being existential being oceanic being godly all narrow boundaries have dissolved now jidu krishna murti presented a unique version of indian philosophy and mysticism in a charismatic and even mesmerizing style of lecturing that attracted large audience around the world throughout his life he was subjected to profound pur- spiritual purgation this purgation came to be called as the process and suggested to those who witnessed this that his higher self has departed this is what happened the water that was fluid in the pot put for boiling to make the tea has evaporated so the higher self has departed transcended from the body and entered into what appears to be transcendent state of consciousness so transcendent state of consciousness is the same as can be compared to the fluid state of water to the vapors state of the water the gaseous state of water his connection with that way the with the gross was severed all the water has evaporated and has changed into the subtle gaseous form it is of no use now you cannot make the tea out of that and that will damage the pot and this is what had happened this state was accompanied at times by severe pain in his head and back the suffering accompanied this experience occurred only under certain circumstances and did not impede his teaching work in fact it was understood to contribute to the exalted state in which krishna murti knew the oneness with all life and the unconditioned freedom that he tried through his continual lecturing and books tape recordings and video tapes published by his organization to convey to thousands of persons under his influence this is why i said krishna murthy's situation was noble n- novel yet the situation was not this is the enlightenment happens to each individual in its own unique way depending on what the existence has planned to happen through this particular instrument of transcendental consciousness the awakened one what work has to happen through him if you look at it buddha's role was different than that of osho than that of raman ram krishna and all of them enough